1973, I graduated from high school and I went directly to college, you know, but that did not, and I stayed in college, I stayed there for about um, uh, a, a year and a half, you know, three semesters and uh, the university got tired of me not going to class and not doing this and not doing that. So they threw me out and they told me, said, listen, you're young, you know, you're adventurous, go do what you need to do and come back later. You're not ready yet. Someone offered me a job in the community. It was uh, Cafe Lafitte's. They offered me a job. Um, they opened up a record store. And I got the job work managing their record store for them. Well, the record store sold lots of gay music, lots of music that was played in the gay bars and stuff, you know. And it was a very, very popular record store, you know. We did well and stuff. But it gave me an opportunity to meet a lot of the gay community in that record store, you know. And, uh, and I was this, you know, this black guy you know, who knew lots of people in the community. And I got offered a bartending job at a bar called um, The Loading Zone. It was called The Loading Zone, you know. And uh, my popularity soared. And then along came opportunities to join, uh, to join uh, different organizations, you know, to become director of gay pride and all of that kind of stuff, you know. And I, so I, as a result, I attended bar for like 16 years. Um, I became a uh, um, Southern Decadence Grand Marshal in 1985. And then um, HIV hit. HIV, HIV hit our community. You know, it was something that all of us did not understand, you know, we saw people, you know, we saw this happening and then that happened and then the person died. You know, we did not understand any of this stuff, you know, but um, because I was, you know, uh, well known in the community, I was invited to sit on the board of directors of an organization that was... a a startup organization that was um, providing housing for persons with HIV called Bell Reeve. Uh, I sat on their board of directors, their initial board of directors there, you know, and I realized what they were doing and how they were trying to impact the health and the lives of people in our community who was being infected with HIV. After I sat on the board, I got an opportunity to work at the organization. Um, here again, because of my popularity in the community, I could bring uh, things to the organization. So I got the job as the volunteer coordinator. You know, I worked that job for about a year, but I began to realize, you know, that there were things uh, that was happening in the uh at Bell Reef that I wanted to do. But I didn't know, I didn't have the skills to do them. You know, I wanted to do the social work piece of it, you know, but I realized I didn't have the skills to do it. So I was, I think I was like 35 years old. So I talked to my partner and we decided that I should go back to school. I enrolled uh, as a non-traditional student um, and I enrolled nighttime, part-time, night school and part-time, you know, in pursuit of becoming a social worker. The next year, very next year, I started going to school in the daytime and I took a full load and I got through it pretty quickly, you know, through a bachelor's degree, you know. And then, you know, I got hungry, you know, so I continued and I received a master's degree. And then I was ready. I thought I was ready to move upstairs and stuff. And I did. You know, I moved upstairs, but it wasn't with that same agency. It was another with another agency. And I did uh, social work. I did case management for, for, for a few years with that agency. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, 
you learn things and you learn uh, disparities. So I started an organization, uh, uh, a nonprofit organization that provides services to provided HIV services and that would focus on the African American community, you know, receiving those services. The name of the organization is In This Together. And we believe, or I believe, you know, that in order to be successful with providing services and making it work for people, you have to be in it with them. It has to be a partnership. You have to be in it together. I'll be 62 in September. You know, I never thought I'd live to be 62 because I was there. You know, I was there. All of those things that happened back then, I was there. You know, the, you know sex and all that kind of stuff, I was there. So many friends who I have lost to HIV AIDS, so many, so many, yes, so many. So what do you do? You know you try to live and you try to help people live a better quality of life. You try to help them understand, you know, that you can live, you know, and there are ways to do 